Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. I'm Sydney. If you are new here, I welcome you to my YouTube channel. So happy to have you. Uh, in today's video, we are going to talk about some policies on both Poshmark and eBay that I feel like a lot of people are not aware of. I saw this huge thread in a Facebook group the other day about just offers and canceling orders and uh, there was just a lot of confusion revolving around a lot of these topics. So I wanted to make a video and kind of explain some of these policies that you might not be aware of and that you really need to know about in terms of selling on both of these platforms. Before I get started, make sure you have joined my Posh Boss HQ group and my Full Time Freedom group. They are both linked in the description box and in the comments. I will be posting training videos in the Full Time Freedom group on Tuesdays. Uh, Tuesday is going to be my training video day for posting these. I'm trying to make sort of a structured schedule for myself and for the group. So I decided on Tuesdays just because, um, you know, a lot of people get busy on the weekends and especially on Monday. So I feel like Tuesday is a good day. Um, also, I'd love to know if there are days where you just don't really watch YouTube videos or get on social media. If you have days like that. So usually I notice that uh, some people just don't watch YouTube on the weekends. That's usually their time to be with their families and things like that. So just let me know down in the comments what days you guys like to watch videos on and what days you tend to just not watch videos. Okay, so let's get into this video. Let's talk about these policies that you probably don't know about that are on Poshmark and eBay. These are very important that you know these because a lot of people don't know them and it has put them in some very complicated situations just from what I've seen over the years. So the first policy I wanna talk about is the three hour window policy on Poshmark. A lot of people do not know that this exists, uh, but if a person comes into your closet and they buy something from you outright, meaning they purchase an item from you that is not purchased via any sort of offer, whether it's them making you an offer or purchasing via offer to likers, if they just completely buy the item at full price by themselves. They have three hours where they can go in and cancel their order. So if you are one of these people that as soon as somebody buys something, you pack it up and you take it to the post office immediately, you need to be aware of this policy because they can go in within three hours and they can cancel the order. Meaning that if you have anybody who just comes into your closet and buy something, you need to hold off on shipping that item for at least three hours. So I usually wait till the next day to ship things. Just It's just how I operate. Um, everything is shipped the next day. So uh, if you have somebody who comes into your closet and just buys an, out an item outright, then you need to just hold off on shipping it just in case they go in and they cancel the order because this is Poshmark's policy and if you go and ship the item and then they cancel the order that is going to be on you and that is going to be your responsibility to go and retrieve the item from the post office because you've shipped the item and you've gone against Poshmark's policy. So whenever you have anybody come into your closet and buy something outright, just hold off on shipping it until the next day because the customer can go in and cancel it. The next thing that you need to know about is the policies on retracting offers. So on both Poshmark and on eBay, if someone makes you an offer and let's say you don't see it or you're holding off for whatever reason because this is what the question in the group thread was about was because somebody was uh, holding off on accepting offers if somebody makes you an offer and you have not accepted that offer they can actually go in and they can retract their offer meaning they can cancel the offer so whenever you get an offer you really want to either accept or counter as soon as you can because these people can go in and they can retract your, their offer and you will lose a sale. Um, so 
you know, I highly recommend keeping your notifications turned on, having both the Poshmark and the eBay app notifications turned on, just so you can see when you get offers and you can accept them right away. That way, it's not going to cost you sales if the person thinks, because a lot of times people, especially on Poshmark, will submit an offer and if you don't accept it right away they might think that you're just not active on your closet and they're going to retract their offer because they feel like you're just not paying attention to your closet so just make sure you have your notifications turned on on your phone and that you're paying attention to your offers that way you're not losing any sales because you take an extended period of time to accept an offer okay so the next thing that you need to be aware of is Canceling orders on Poshmark in reference to the shipping time on Poshmark. So whenever someone buys something from you, you have seven days to ship that item. Poshmark really prefers you to ship the item within three days. That's what their policy says. Uh, but you actually have seven days to ship the item. On the fifth day, I believe, you will get a notification telling you that you need to ship your item and then on the seventh day after the seventh day uh, the customer is actually able to go in and cancel the order so you really need to be aware of your ship time you do not want to be losing money and losing sales because you're taking too long to ship items um, i personally have ordered something on poshmark before and the person took over 10 days to ship the item. And I wanted the item. It wasn't a super expensive thing that I bought. So I waited the 10 days. But you really need to ship your items within three days. So if you, for whatever reason, if something crazy has happened or if there's an emergency. And you are not going to be able to ship your item within the three days. Or at least within the five days. I highly recommend letting your customer know that. Or just being in touch with them especially uh, right now around the holidays even if you are shipping your items on time a lot of times the tracking is not updating and items are taking just a really long time to get to their destinations so just try to communicate with your customer if there's going to be any sort of delay in shipping something but just be aware that after seven days the customer is able to cancel their order um, eBay does not have a policy like this however uh, you have to set your handling time on eBay personally I set my handling time to two business days so that sort of gives you um, a couple days wiggle room in terms of being able to ship your items in case something does happen and you're not able to ship it I know a lot of people set their handling time to same day or one day uh, I just do two business days because I um, have been trying to limit trips to the post office uh, just with everything going on. So two business days has been fine for me. I've not noticed it affecting my sales on eBay or anything like that. Uh, so on eBay, you ship your handling time. And if you do not ship within that window of your handling time, you will get a defect on your eBay account. So Poshmark is seven days just across the board eBay is whatever you set your handling time to. I don't really recommend going over two or three business days on eBay because then I do believe that that affects your search visibility on eBay. So, you know, on eBay, try to ship within two to three days. Next, I want to talk about unpaid item cases on eBay. Uh, this does not affect sales on Poshmark because if somebody submits an offer on Poshmark and you accept it, or if you send them an offer and they accept it, it automatically processes the payment. On eBay, if someone submits an offer to you and you accept it, they then have to go in and manually pay for the item. It does not automatically process their payment. So, um, sometimes people just don't pay for things. And it happens more frequently than I would like it to. Uh, it's really sort of frustrating when people just don't pay for their stuff on eBay. Uh, but you can go in on eBay and you can set um, the time the time frame in which an unpaid item case is open. So I have mine set to two days. So after two days, if someone has not paid for something, it automatically opens an unpaid item case. 
so that then sends the customer a notification that an unpaid item case has been opened they then have two days from there to pay for it and then if they do not pay for it it goes down as a defect on their account uh, you are refunded your final value fees and whatever uh, eBay takes out so um, I highly recommend setting it to two business day or two days just because you'll have a lot of people on eBay who will message you and they will ask if they can uh, make an offer and uh, buy the item and then they'll ask if they can pay for it a week later and just to deter these people I can then say well eBay automatically opens an unpaid item case after two days so you know it's it's a really good feature that eBay has if they are going to continue to not automatically process payments personally I prefer the Poshmark method where their payment is automatically processed but if you sell on eBay I highly recommend setting the unpaid item case assistant to on and personally I do two days I feel like that's ample enough time for someone to pay for something uh, I don't think they should need more than two days to pay for something sometimes people don't realize that it doesn't automatically process their payment uh, and then they will get the notification and then they will pay for it so you know just because somebody hasn't paid for something don't automatically get mad about it but uh, you know even just a couple of days ago I had an unpaid item case open and they never paid for it so just something you need to be aware of on eBay uh, that you can um, you know report people who don't pay for things okay now I want to talk about people who make requests to cancel orders uh, you will get this on both Poshmark and eBay people will buy things they will pay for them then they will comment or message you and they will request to cancel the order and once somebody has paid for something on both of these platforms I realize that it is binding I realize that you are not obligated to cancel their order however if you have a person and they are messaging you or commenting and saying they do not want the item I highly recommend you just going ahead and canceling the order uh, on eBay you can choose that the customer requested to cancel the order that way it doesn't put a defect on your account or anything like that uh, you just click the little option and that tells eBay that it was on the customer so I highly recommend if you have a person who does not want the item just to save you a lot of time and headache in the long run to just cancel the order it is not worth your time arguing with people it's not worth your time on Poshmark if you ship it and then they try to open a case against you and you're trying to argue the case you just don't want to send something to somebody who doesn't actually want the item um, it's just not worth it to me uh, time is very very valuable we only have so much time especially you know if you do this full-time you just don't have time to spend arguing with people and it's not worth shipping somebody something if they don't actually want the item um, worst case scenario you cancel the order you relist it and it sells to someone else so you know don't worry or stress about these types of things it's just not worth your time it's not worth your time arguing with people it's not worth your time you know if they open a case against you later and on eBay if you ship somebody something they don't want they're just going to return it and eBay will force you to take the return I highly recommend having at least a 30-day return policy on eBay just because eBay is going to force you to take a return if a customer is not happy with something and then if you don't take returns and you get the item back and it's damaged for whatever reason eBay is not going to help you if you don't have any sort of return policy or if you're not trying to work with your customers believe me I speak from experience I did try for a period of time to not accept returns on eBay and it was just not a good time so uh, just have a return policy on eBay it will save you a ton of time and headaches having a return policy actually protects you and it's going to make eBay more likely to work with you and to help you if a customer for whatever reason is trying to 
be deceiving or damages your item and is trying to return it or swaps out your item if you have good customer service on ebay they are going to be more likely to help you uh, and then on poshmark you just go in and you cancel the order again i realize you're not obligated to cancel the order because once someone buys something on poshmark it's binding but they're probably going to open a case and it's just not worth your time at all to fight with them or to argue or anything like that okay so these are the five policies that you guys really needed to know about if you have any questions or if i wasn't clear on something or if you need clarification further definitely leave me a comment down below uh, make sure you've joined the facebook groups followed my instagram all of that uh, i love hearing from you guys getting messages um, talking to you on instagram so that is my video for today and i will see you guys in the facebook group and in the next video